Sasquatch, Sasquatch, knocking on the trees, chucking rocks and screaming like a troop of chimpanzees. Sasquatch, Sasquatch, running around my place, are you the missing link or are you from outer space? Howdy, pilgrims. This here's Kachi, a.k.a. Delacaba, bringing you another episode of The Hunter 2017. And today, I am in Bush Rangers Run. And that right there is the sound I was waiting to hear again. Oh, you bastard. I've got goats out there somewhere. But today, I'm doing a hunt, which is likely to be a two-part hunt. We'll see if we can get her all in one video or not. But I am doing the Laura Francis Challenge to take a feral hog and a wild boar to compound bow. Now, because of the way I'm going to be hunting these fellas, instead of using my Parker Python like I normally would, I'm going to be using my Pulsar. Yum, yum. Tasty Pulsar action going on. I also am going to have with me my 223 as well as my Basanti. Now, you may notice I haven't had a video up in a few days, and I'd like to kind of explain why that is while we head on down to where we're going, and maybe if we're lucky, them goats will... Let us know where they are again. Let's get our scent suppressor on. I have been waiting for the go to my dreams. As I was saying, I have not done a video for several days. And the reason I haven't done a video for several days is because I've been trying to sort out recording in 1080p. Because, you know, you guys, you come and you watch my videos, you watch my content, and the simple fact is, is that you could be doing other things. And if you're going to take the time out of your lives to come watch my content, I'd like you to have the same experience watching it as I'm having playing it. And, of course, I'm playing in 1080p with everything set on Ultra. And, man, I was watching a couple of my videos and realized that there was an awful lot of detail that just was not coming through. Where are you? You goaty bugger, you. He's supposedly right down there someplace. And I'm not seeing him. It's 5 a.m. in the fog here. But anyway... I was doing my darndest to get a setup going where I could record in 1080p and have it do its job the way it's supposed to because I was getting problems with my sound and with weird visual artifacts and just all kinds of stuff where, I mean, I've spent several days and I think I finally got it sorted out. And it's my hope that this video is going to be my first video in 1080p for the hunter. You know, it's a real shame because I've got a couple of hunts that I went on that were really great hunts. That the footage just didn't work out. I went on a hunt with a fe fellow who's a friend of mine, hunts under the name of Cat Weasel Marv. And we had just, just a heck of a lot of fun. We checked out his hunting lodge and... Uh, We went and we hunted timber gold trails and had an absolute blast and the sound didn't work out. That time, no sound for me or for him. Then I went on a hunt with Hawkeye M and we had just a heck of a time. I got charged right down on a riverbank by a big old grizzly uh, scoring a 24. He comes straight at me 
and I put an arrow literally right through his brain, dropped him on, on the spot, skid to a halt right at my toes. And on that same hunt, I took the biggest Rocky Mountain elk I've gotten to date. And, you know, it just, it didn't work out. There was my voice, but no game sound and no sound from Hawkeye. Well, I don't know where that goat has gone, guys. I was hoping we might be able to spot him and he might be the one. All right, well, here we are. And I'll tell you what, we got us... Hogs are plenty. Look at that big old fellow. Let's get a look at what is he. He's probably only about a 600. It says 550 to 9 something, but I think he's only probably about 600 with them tusks. I'm looking for them big old wicked dagger tusks. And I don't think we're going to have one of them fellers. 600s, 680s. Now he could be 930. We were check our sense suppression. He's gonna walk right up and give us a kiss here. And he's literally only ten meters out. Check behind us here. Well, we certainly got hogs. We got to pick one. That's going to be tough. 520 to 900. Probably about a 650 is where he'd come in. 300 to 680. is looking a little bit better. His tusks are a little bit longer and they kind of flare out. And that's definitely a sign we're looking for, for a good male. He's going to walk right up. I think he just volunteered. Just kind of sit tight. We might get a few more coming in. As long as our sense suppression is good, we shouldn't have to worry about getting spotted. doubt about that. Now, as to where we hit him, gotta say I'm not all that all that well versed with the pulsar and how it shoots at close ranges. Probably should have went to a range and took a few shots just to see what dead on was under twenty meters, but well 
That's all right, because... It looked like an all right blood patch. Yeah, heart and lungs. All right. He shouldn't go far. They're all up on the hill up there. They have to be careful approaching them. But I just don't think this fellow's going to come in over 650. He just does not have the tusks for it. And that is Patches. There's a sow. It's piebald. And she usually runs pretty big. And I call her Patches. Patches is the one hog that I've been charged by more than any others. And so when I see her and she gets too close, I just plain take her down. But you can see she's actually piebald. And just because it's her, I'm going to take the trophy shot here. I gotta say, I'm pretty honestly surprised that that hog counted towards the entries. I figured it had to be a boar on both sides. Of course, the boar score highest, of course, you know, for both the both the feral hogs and and the wild boars. So, of course, it makes sense he get you a big old boar, but apparently sows count, too. There, we got some blood. Now, of course, we had heart-lung blood, and now suddenly, that was body. Is that that fella right there? Nope, that's a different one. Knucklehead. Don't do it. You just walk your little fat behind right down that hill. There you go. One thing I do have to say about the pulsar is it draws really fast. So if a uh, big charge, you can get on the shot real quickly. Now I'm trying to figure out where this feller went. We're just going to take our way down the hill here. A lot of times they cut left and go along the face of the, of the hill. But the way he's been going, he's been holding a pretty solid course the whole way. So you got a sow and a boar there. holding a pretty straight line so I'm hoping yep there it is in fact I think that's him laying right out over there 
fact, I'm sure that's him laying right out over there, so we're just going to get up and walk it. God, I don't think he's going to come in anywhere near as high as he estimated. Well, you know, his his teeth on that side look good. Do we got any wear on these ones? He's got a lot of wear on the other side, but at least one of his teeth on this side is looking good. So he might come out a little higher than I expected. 700s maybe? Yeah, 709. Well, let's get our trophy shot. Now, this is an issue that I've been having. This pose right here is called Deer Hunter. And there's Serene and that. And I try to do Humble. And instead of it doing Humble, it does Deer Hunter. And then, see, it's doing the right upper body, but it's doing the wrong lower body. See, this is the upper body for Deer Hunter. But it's the lower body for Humble. So I don't understand why it's doing that. It's very strange. Very, very strange. We're going to see if we can take advantage of it. height and then just adjust me a little bit good deal I think they say left gives you lemons and make lemonade well we're gonna make some lemonade here boom that's a pretty dandy trophy shot. All right, well, gotta say, he's not that terribly impressive. He's a 700, which is certainly a good start. But he's definitely not winning material so we're gonna we're gonna have to have us a mighty good wild boar and to keep this short and sweet and give you guys something interesting I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this map and we're gonna go to Hirschfelden and see about taking us a wild boar We'll be right back. Sasquatch, Sasquatch, knocking on the trees, chucking rocks and screaming like a troop of chimpanzees. Sasquatch, Sasquatch, running around my place. Are you the missing link or are you from outer space? Oh. 